All right guys, Jack here, JBF Music and Guitar Lessons, and what I've got for you is a breakdown of this absolutely fantastic Marty Friedman lick from a cover he's doing of Ozzy Osbourne's Goodbye to Romance. <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash JBF music is where you can get the tabs for this, but let's break it down. We're on the ninth fret on the B string and you're gonna do a big tone bend here. Dip it a little bit. Maybe so it's a three-quarter bend and then back up with vibrato so if this So bend by a tone, dip it to maybe three quarters and then vibrato. We got this two notes here, and you want to do a pre-bend and back up, so, so you're doing a pre-bend, release, and back up, but the first release from the pre-bend is very fast, so rather than be this, it's a very Marty Friedman thing to do, I've covered more stuff like this before, so if you want more in-depth dive to this pre-bend technique, check out the eye up there. But yeah, after that we're pulling off to the 6th fret, down to 9, and a great Almost kind of, this is like a hybrid between kind of blues and the kind of Japanese thing Marty Friedman does. Six to nine hammer on the B, down to that blues note on the ninth fret, back up to here. Using the blues note again, we're going to slide down to eight and then pull off to six. So I'll recap this bit we've got so far. slide into the blues note and this is really crunchy it's awesome and then toggle between this ninth fret on the G and the sixth fret on the B so you almost play this it's like five and a half times on the fifth time you don't do it so we got one two three four five and what we do here is come back down so nine slide down to eight go up to six on the G string there then some really cool Marty Friedmanisms. We're gonna bend very quickly the seventh fret by a semitone, so it's the, it sounds like the eighth fret. Back to pitch and then hammer on the eighth fret. So it's that up to speed. This is a very Steve Vai thing to do, so if you like the sound of this and want some more information on it, I'll link to a lesson with the eye up there. Slow it down, it'd be a bit more like. So if you need to practice it at a slower speed, that's how to do it. Then after a while, it becomes a bit more natural. So you've got that. Then we're going to play the 6th fret. 8th fret on the D. Back to 6th fret. To wrap it up. So I'll do that second part of it. What I tend to do is a little upward rake here. So I tend to go uh, up on the G string on the 6th. Up on the, uh, the D string on the 8th. And then just like a down for that final one on the sixth fret of the G. So just to quickly gloss over the theory here, you might have recognised we're pretty much in a pentatonic box or kind of a blues box in B flat, really. So, yeah. so if you notice, there's mainly these notes. Well done to you. What we are doing is adding in the ninth here. So that's that. One. And then really, really leaning into the the blues note. So for example, there's that lick where it's kind of like. And then obviously we've got the uh, and the super crunchy button. And I suppose when we're doing this pre-bend thing, it's kind of hinting at a major third, but only in passing. If you've got something you're working on and want feedback or custom video lesson, please don't hesitate to get in touch through lessons at jbfmusic.com or Facebook. We'll have a chat and see if I can sort you out.
loads more Marty Friedman stuff in those videos. You can check out Patreon for the tabs or just to support the channel. Click subscribe to make sure you never miss out on your content. If you don't want to do any of that, a like and a comment just goes a really long way. So cheers, guys, and I hope you're having a good one.